Okay, in this short video, we're gonna take a look at this specimen. Um, it doesn't look like much. It looks like kind of a half a loaf of bread or something. Um, it's actually a species called Cryptochiton stellari. It's a representative of the class Polyplacophora, commonly called or referred to as chitons. Then the smaller specimen, this black one, is another one. This one's called Catharina tunicata. Both of these live along the west coast of the United States. Now let's start with Cryptochiton. This one is um, the largest chitin in the world. I mean, not this one, but this species. And the shell plates, now one of the characteristics of this group is that they have eight separate shell plates. Now, Catharina has many of its, or much of each shell plate covered in soft tissue. But if we count them, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight shell plates. And they are partially embedded, and in the case of cryptochiton, completely embedded in material or a structure called the girdle. So if we take a look at the ventral surface of cryptochiton, we get to see um, the anatomy of this animal and a large, you know, to some extent, how it makes a living. So this toward your left-hand side over here, this is the anterior end of the body. This is the head right here. It has a large, broad foot that it uses to attach itself to the substrate. This edge out here and this one down here, these are, this is the girdle. And then these slits, these grooves along either side of the foot are the mantle cavity. Inside the mantle cavity, we see these many little overlapping structures. These are the tinnitia the gills. And so what these animals do is they pull in water, they create little incurrent spaces where water can be drawn in, it goes through the mantle cavity, all the way to the posterior end, and then the water is released through the posterior aperture, or the exhalant aperture. The inhalant apertures are up here toward the anterior end of the foot. If we look at the head, what we can see is the mouth and surrounding soft tissue. And there are no tentacles or any other elaborations on the head. The posterior end of the body, we can see the anus here. And you can't see it in this image, but there are a pair of nephridiopores on either side. And then there are a pair of gonopores a little farther up. And that's really all there is to see about these animals. They attach themselves to hard surfaces and make a living by using a large radula to scrape material off of rocks. If we look at Catharina, again, we see the dorsal surface. Now this animal, the muscles in its body wall have contracted slightly, curling it up partially. But again, it's so curled up, you can't see a whole lot. This is the... So never mind. aside from having, again, the mantle cavity running along both sides of the foot. It has the same basic anatomy as cryptochiton, just smaller.